Oh, I know you're not talking about mom. Ain't your mama dead? Mommy? Dead as hell. Got sent to the gulag by cancer. I'm fing lost. I think she'd go outside like that if she was a demon. And ain't your little brother sorry as shit? Can't even pick up a fing sword. And your dad's a deadbeat. Don't get out of the way, nigga! Nigga, just become a demon. You'd be unstoppable. This nigga just dissed my entire family. Oh, no. Nah. Let's play a mini game. Yeah. Whoop this nigga's ass. If you haven't seen part one of this video, you need to go watch it right now because a lot of these jokes are going to fly over your head. Anyways, Rogi is still ear raping Tanjiro and you know Miles. So he just social distances the top half of his head from the bottom. And he's all, oh my god, I think I did it. No more of that hot garbage. Nah, buddy, you're not done here. You go listen to this hot ass. Cash on 2K24. They're like, Elsa, bitch. Let it snow. They've been blasting this nigga's ears with this garbage for so long. It's low-key starting to sound beautiful to him. Just like how the more you see femboys, the more you might consider Switching teams. Y'all better not start calling me sus in the comments. I'm just connecting the dots here, nigga. Anyway, so Tanjo's getting absolutely pieced up by this bird, nigga. Dude is straight up treating him like a pinata. Vamanos! Vamanos! No matter And Tanjo's just like, cut that shit off, Alejandro. This ain't narcos. Huh? Then this motherfucker Tanjo does something so inconceivable, so unbelievably impossible. It'll probably be in the next Fast and Furious movie. This nigga weaves his talon and then jumps straight into this dude's throat, pause, eats a back shot, and just rides him all the way back to spawn. He busts back into the building like the Kool-Aid man and he's like, I'm back, bitches! And as it goes, just deep throat this dude spear like ash cash grogi you're supposed to handle that little nigga you useless fuck. this is why we never play 2k with your sorry ass i'm trying to stream i have nobody else to play with y'all don't have to why are you talking about my mom? Why are you talking about my mom? My mom has nothing to do with it. Anyway, so Tanjo's not gonna just sit there and watch his sister get BBC like he's Adam 22. So he runs up on Mr. Angry, weaves his staff, and just runs his homie's musty ass foot right through that bitch. Gave this nigga plus 20 electricity resist like it was a Liz Alfo's tail. Anyway, so he makes sure Mr. Angry will never eat coochie the same again and then pulls the staff out of her throat. But dude in the back has already recovered and is about to turn him into a popsicle. But Nesco is right there with her big ass muscles. She uses Ignite to cook this dude when all of a sudden this nigga with the core clean comes back like and just knocks both of them out look at them they're so proud of themselves niggas look like the timu version of pain before we continue, let me take a moment to introduce today's sponsor. Honkai Star Wars, a space fantasy RPG made by Hoyoverse, the same people who made Genshin Impact. They got this game cross-play on PC, mobile. They just announced it's coming to PS4 and PS5. Y'all, about a month ago, I was just chilling, right? When one by one, all my homies started grinding the hell out of this game. And I can't even lie, I was like, this game can't be that fire. Until I saw anime girls with swords, I just dived right in. You get to explore different worlds and whoop NPC ass with the power of anime. And they got over 20 playable characters on the roster. Dude, every single character I've picked up might as well just been Prime LeBron. They just dropped a new limited five-star character, Blade. Dude looks straight out of Persona 5. But he's pretty cold though. And Kafka, a straight baddie who not only uses this katana to send hordes of fodder randoms to the gulag, she also keeps a strap on her and is ready to reap her ult at any time. In version 1.2, the main storyline of... I I ain't even gonna try to pronounce this on camera. <laughs> Either way, it's getting crazy. There's hella people about to squabble. And after passing through different delves, you'll fight off against the one responsible for the Stellalon disaster. So make sure y'all go download the game in the description below and use the code to redeem 50 Stellar Jade. Get your shit! Run before y'all niggas meet God! The vase molester from the first video let his vase possessed hellfish run around the Swartzman village, making shit absolutely tragic. <laughs> Throw some balls, nigga. I got this. Oh, shit, I missed. <laughs> please. Please, I'm still a virgin. There's no bad bitches in this village at all. Get up, my nigga. You're talking to a fish. These niggas are looking absolutely cooked, but then this crow is here to save the day like, Well, now he's there finished. Well, now he's there finished. The village needs a baddie immediately. And just like that, tits ahoy is on the scene, ready to make me hard while watching. I mean, save the day. I don't even care anymore. Y'all can call me Philly on the Mars if you want. I'm going to say what I want to say. Anyway, so these fish are just relentlessly massacring these penis mouths civilians. Like, Jesus Christ, that nigga it definitely just got turned into some salami. But before the fish can continue to run up his KD, Mitsuri pulls up, shots on it, and just flashes every single one of them. Nigga's friend is dying in his arms, and all he's focused on is, Oh, pussy. Her sword is literally a whip, and she's just skipping around, brutally murdering all these monsters. Like, oh my god, Slay Queen. She even packed up this fat ass fish, saved Unk, and while she was like, Oh my god, are you okay? Unk was like, I'm about to blow. Uh. 
Hey, can you take me to the hospital? Back the f*** up, bitch. Anyway, so I'm gonna get blown out of a goddamn building. Nezuko's trapped under this giant house, but she's trying to get this nigga killed. Hey, hey, dumb bitch. They're coming. Let go of the fucking sword. She gripping onto that shit harder than DDG's trying to hold on to his rap career. Anyway, so Tanjiro notices them boys looking for him. When I find that little dweeb and his sister, Muzan's gonna make me the group leader. No, he's not, nigga. And he's like, Nezuko? If you don't let go of this damn sword, I'm gonna walk my ass right out of here. I ain't going out like my Goku. <laughs> She lit Tanjiro's sword on fire, and that's when Tanjiro had a- Oh, wait. I'm the main character. Moment. Straight up copied Naruto. Oh, he copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Oh. And it's like- Hey, you bitch-ass niggas. Huh? Big dick is back outside. The main one saw that shit, cut that angry act for a second, and was like, Oh, shit. Ain't that that one nigga that made Nuzon piss his pants and hide for a hundred years till the nigga died? Girl, I'm dead. That shit was so hype, I did a random backflip in my room. I'm not lying. Mm. Anyways, there was one more, and it looks like Genya got his ass. Jesus Christ, he did that nigga bad. And look at how happy this man Tanjo looked. Genya! <laughs> what the f happened to this nigga? Is, is that Genya? Oh my god. I think this nigga drank the Grimace shake. My head! Oh, oh, oh! Isn't this motherfucker supposed to be gentle? This shit burns! Girl, shut up, nigga. I'm angry. They're gonna put us in another EMV. Anyway, so Tanjo stole a wrong card from that Hinokami Kagura he just did. And he realizes if they didn't kill them, there's gonna be one more demon out there playing hide and seek somewhere. But before we can look for him, don't dash yourself up, Tanjo. You didn't kill this uprick on your own! Nigga, are you off a perk? I knew that shit was fake, but I still ate it because I'm a gremlin. Oh, are you geeking, geeking? I saw you get stabbed. How are you even alive? I used my American breathing and prayed to Donald Trump. Oh, I love Trump. Oh, wait, dead ass? No, nigga. The angry one's already self-revived and is ready to start dropping PK Thunders on their heads again. So they get ready to squabble. And Tanjo's like, whatever. So Genya gets to blast it. Oh. And because Korok Leaf Demon's dumbass blasted away the naked old head smell from the hot springs, Tanjo's able to sniff out Hentangu's main body's marks with his 99 overall nose. I should've never ate that Mexican nigga. That's just like Taco Bell to us demons. Hey, Captain America, he's hiding in that bush over there. So he runs off and Tanjo's stuck fighting the bird, dude. Hello, motherfucker. And they start Jumping Mr. Anguish is about to finish him, but Nezuko comes out of nowhere thinking she's the main protagonist. Yeah, you are not her, buddy. Gen is just running through the woods trying to find this nigga. And he's just in his head praying like Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump. And the longer he takes, the more Tanjo and Nezuko are getting fucked up. Where is this fucker? Bora, I need the map. He's below you. <laughs> Don't hurt me! This little nigga's the demon! <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to catch this dude? He's smaller than my penis. Anyway, so Genya finally catches up to him and tries to fruit ninja his ass, but then his sword just snaps in half. So now this nigga is just sitting there completely perplexed, wondering what the fuck this nigga's neck is made out of. And like a true confused American, he resorts to just pulling out a gun and shooting. But even that's not working. Praying to Trump is not working. He's gonna have to try Obama next. Look at this nigga, bro. He got no songs where he gotta be doing all of this, bruh. These motherfuckers were literally fighting for their lives against this giant anti-haven CGI tentacle monster. I'm sorry, call me a freaky ass nigga if you want, but you can't look at this and tell me this doesn't look off. <laughs> anyway, so after they packed this fodder ass demon up, I'm not even gonna mention his name, that weak ass bitch. Bro had to dick right to get more strength. Oh Lord, Muzan Daddy, pause. I'd like nothing more but to die at your hands. Don't even make it quick. I want it to be as painful as possible. Yeah. This nigga's a dick rider. He's perfect. And his whole power was just giving niggas sweet dreams. Anyway, so Tanjiro's left on like zero HP. If you're wondering how he got hurt, it wasn't the demon. Some crackhead ass train conductor came out of nowhere like, bitch ass motherfuckers. I was dreaming about ice spies. And he just stabbed his ass. So now Rengoku's using a chug jug to try to revive him. And that's when this motherfucker Akaza decides to stop jerking off somewhere and just pulls up on these niggas like, this absolute asshole saw Tanjiro knocked on like 10 HP, no shield, and was like, Come on, man. That's too easy. Jumped and completely ignored the fully capable Hashira 10 millimeters away and tried to squash Tanjiro's head. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck all that. 
So he uses 5% of this movie's budget to make this nigga back the fuck up. And this motherfucker is just standing there smiling while his entire arm is just there doing the fucking banana splits. Like, damn, bro, I get it. You're a demon and all, but nigga, you do not feel the pain? Anyway, so anyway, so this nigga's like, join us. And Rengoku just looks at him like, nah, I'm good, bro. But just look at your drip power level. Why would you want to stay a small dick, weak little human bitch? Small dick? Your mom knows how big my- Oh, I know you're not talking about moms. Nigga, ain't your mama dead? Mommy? Dead as hell. Got sent to the gulag by cancer and fucking lost. You think she'd go outside like that if she was a demon? And ain't your little brother sorry as shit? Can't even pick up a fucking sword? And your dad's a deadbeat. Nigga. nigga made it his nine to five job to crush your little brother's dreams like you don't have future here you don't have future you can never make you can never make the hair breathing heavy like a dog think about your life you are a failure you are a failure you can never make it nigga just become a demon you'd be unstoppable this nigga just dissed my entire family oh no nah. let's play a mini game whoop this Anyway, so this man stomps his musty ass feet. And first off, why is this man wearing anal beads on his ankles? Had Shorty in the back singing that. <laughs> My fucker just skedaddled at him, started squabbling, and Tanjo was just on the sidelines looking at his like, oh no. Nah. They're moving so fast, I can't even see them. Fuck, I'm a side character in my own movie. Whole battle, Akka's just talking to Rengoku and past as like, in my hundred years of respecting women, I've never killed a flame asher of your caliber. You're actually him. Bro, if I'm fighting a nigga to the death, and he's talking to me like he already packed my ass up, I'm pulling my pants down. That nigga's not gonna fight me naked, bro. Your mom's a hoe. Who started breakdancing and was like, nigga no jutsu. And started blasting Rengoku with invisible hand blast. Y'all gotta remember, all this fire and special effects we see do not exist, bro. So Rengoku just looks like a dumbass flinging a sword around, and now because just a crackhead shadow boxes. Then these niggas just stop out of nowhere to just have the most expensive staring contest known to man. Anyway, so Rengoku's like, damn, you Loki should know me. I gotta show off for them little niggas. And he just dashes right up to him like he's trying to smell what cologne he got on. These niggas are just chopping in boxes, so I'm just gonna start making sound effects. Boo, 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 boo. Shang, shang, chong, chong. Oh shit, we gotta help him. Hey, sit your weak asses back down. It's my movie now. So he runs up on him, gets weak. Weak. Perfect shields his attack. Just slaps him 50 feet to go touch grass. Motherfucker spent 10 seconds in nature and came out thinking he was so Illuminati. Guys, sir, guys, sir, escape the matrix, Ren Goku. Become a demon. And these two are just on the sidelines watching bro get his ass whooped with popcorn. Like, bro, go help him. Now he's just on his ass, and Akka's still trying to give him the opportunity of the lifetime to join the dark side. Are you ready to switch teams now, Ren Goku? Or am I gonna have to keep beating the dog shit out of you? And bro's just looking at him thinking, you low-key cooking the fuck out of me. I might have to reconsider. Now fuck that. What did Nick A30 tell me? Never back down never what i swear this whole battle was just akaza fucking begging rengoku to become a demon like please bro become a demon it's so cool and rengoku's just like nah bro humanity cleared over and over and over again until this nigga decides it's time to pull out his ultimate attack it's anime so of course he waited until he had one eyed fucking blinded and every bone in his goddamn body broken before he decided to dash at this man Start butchering him like the goat me to eat back in Africa. Now after seeing this man twist his blade up and through, you would think he won. But uh, nah, that nigga is the Dunkin' Donuts employee of the century. This man really punched a fist-sized hole into him and is begging him to stay alive. Nigga, what? I don't understand how this man Rangoku is getting stronger the more damage he takes. Like he's supposed to just be a regular, regular dude. Fuck is it tries to swing on this man, but he just blocks it. Like, where is he finding this power from? Anyway, so the sun's coming up, so Akka's about to start shitting himself because he knows. The second the sun hits his body, he gonna turn into grandma's ashes. But Rengoku is not about to let this man dip. He is holding on for dear life, literally. Man, fuck that arm. You can keep it as a souvenir. And he just dips. But this man, Tanjo, is out for blood. He channels his inner Patrick Mahomes and just yeets his sword 500 meters straight through this man's chest. And it didn't even affect him. Don't run now, you bitch! You killed my nigga! You can't just run from me now! You whole ass pussy, get back here! Who the fuck? I'm not worried about you, little nigga. The sun is coming out. Oh, let it become night again. I'm coming for your cheeks next. Y'all, I got a quick message, bro. I made this video off a combination of McDonald's Wi-Fi and my phone's data. So bear with me if the quality's not up to like the craziest for this one, all right? Love y'all, peace. <laughs>